Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is another exhibition match. This time we're gonna have Anarchid and Magman on Trojan Hills. Not much to be said about that. I mean, Anarchid is well, really good player. Magman, Magman is actually also quite good. We have seen Magman in terms a few times, but we'll see how it works out here. How they play here. It's been some time since the last tournament. It's been about a couple weeks, and Anarchid. Going for Cloakabot Factory, Magman going for Shieldbot Factory, we're going to be on Trojan Hills, by the way. And Magman going for a couple quick bandits. No Constructor quite yet. Anarchid is going for a couple Glaives into a Constructor. So, fairly conservative build there, just opening up with, yeah, just scouting out, seeing where Magman's set up. Not sure where if Magman's at the Northwest or the Northeast. Magman is in the Northeast, in fact, but Anarchid just wants to be sure. Also, this Glaive will allow... Anarchid to go around the back, because Magman actually hasn't set up a whole, well, set up a couple defenses, so there is that. But Magman would most naturally expand over to here, which means that Anarchid would be able to intercept that. Anarchid, however, oops, Anarchid also has their own Conjurer, and that Conjurer going over to the South Center, equivalent to this expansion here, so Magman does not have anything to intercept with that. Magman's band is just bypassing Anarchid's Glaive. Looks like that is going to... actually, yeah, that's... They're, they kind of know about each other. Not really fighting it. Anarchid looks like they are just bypassing the bandits entirely. Regroup regrouping their glaives. Not going to intercept the backside here. And looks like they're... Yeah, they're going for a head on assault. The glaives are actually a little bit probably too far away for that. I'm a little bit surprised they're going for that assault as they are now. But that is in fact what has happened. Oh no, one of them is going around the back. Two of them are going up front. They aren't quite near enough to each other to actually work. And they need to regroup. Yeah, these glaives really need to regroup first. Magman's Commander, however, will stop the Magman's Commander, is at level 1, does have a Beam Laser, and forces those Glaives all the way back out of there. Anarchid, on the other hand, doesn't really care too much. Just setting up some defenses from this Bandit, getting a couple Glaives back here so the Conjurer doesn't get killed. Well, in theory, but that's... there we go, that's that's what we need to see. And the Conjurer, there we go, that has been protected. Conjurer getting up the Lotus before that... well, before the next Bandit run, in case there is any other Bandit runs coming in. And Anarchid not going to run back, they've... Not really checked. They have checked it out. They haven't checked it out that much, and they don't need to. Magman hasn't been building up there. They are building further south. Well, over here, south of their base. Still further north. And there we go. There's a second wave of bandits. And at this point, three bandits. That is actually going to stop that lotus. It's going to get rid of that. This entire south expansion is very threatened at this point by Magman. But at the same time, Anarchid moving over to the northwest to deal with that. And Magman is going for a very rapid air switch. It's minor harassment here, getting some convicts on, then to more bandits, but basically mild harassment into an air switch, while Anarchid going for scythes. Very rapid scythe there, trying to, I guess, get around here, maybe get rid of the factory from behind. Or get in the middle extractors without really being detected too much. We'll see, though. These five glaives are probably going to be able to get rid of... Yeah, that's going to come down to micromanagement. If the five glaives get behind the factory in the right way, they can stop this lotus and get rid of the factory. However, the glaive... Sorry, bandits coming in here from the south, from Magman, trying to deal with the conjurer and not even bothering with the lotus. They could kill it, but why bother? They can go straight to the main... Well, straight to see if they can get rid of this metal extractor. And they can! Just out of range of that lotus. Then moving into the main base to try to get rid of that. Well, Anakin, on the other hand... Has been spotted, is being intercepted, and these bandits are doing a fine job getting rid of the glaives. These four glaives will have very little chance to actually get rid of the bandit. No chance. No, actually, well, okay. One glaive survives. That will not do. That will not get rid of this lotus. There is nothing that can be done there. And Magman actually about to lose their bandits to this warrior. They need to get away from that, but looks like the warrior is too close and will intercept. Getting rid of all the bandits in a stroke. Very nicely done. Now, Scythe coming in here and more... More size are forthcoming. Surprisingly, part of Anarchid's loop. Anarchid has the infinite build on with size in there. So their main build build set includes sides. Which they are immediately sending over, and Magman will have to deal with that. Though Magman doesn't appear to be too worried. Setting up a Raven, setting up... Well, on 13 metal, setting up actually two factories and a caretaker, that's a little bit much. There actually... There hasn't been a whole lot of expansion going on. And this Convict, it, while it is building up a metal extractor, it is using... Like, two metal per second. That's going to take, well, as we can see, about half a minute to do that. And the Scythe going for this is a bit of a risky shot, but yeah, it's going to go for it. Tries to get, actually, will get rid of the bandits, no problem. And then the Convict right after that. 
So yeah, this convict going down, Magman really not expanding at all. Anarchy, on the other hand, has been expanding pretty readily. Okay, and this entire ridge over here, getting the south side, and keeping that. The bandit attack didn't really do much. And even going towards the center. It's one conjurer here that's starting to take all the center mexes. Well, Magman, on the other hand, has not even taken the northwest side. Their commander seems to be moving over in that general direction, but hasn't actually taken it yet. Anyway, Anarchid is going to... Well, they're going to have to deal with these ravens. That's a thing to worry about. And Magman... Well, okay, the thing is, Magman is going for early air, but Anarchid, as I mentioned in the last game, fast expansion is what you do against early air. And Anarchid's gone for quite a fast expansion, indeed. At this point, Magman really not going for the right counter. I mean, enough ravens could just go through and in a few waves deal with all the metal extractors. Because there aren't a lot of workers building this up. There actually... No, wait, what am I saying? No, this is a gremlin, it's my mistake. Conjurers, yeah, two conjurers up here and the commander. Rebuilding these would be a little bit tricky once you get uh, ravens up, but at this point it doesn't even matter. Hacksaw coming to deal with that, gremlins are up to deal with these. The ravens are basically already countered. Magman in a very tight position right now. And Bandit's trying to come in to try, to try their best to deal with this. Not sure how well it's going to work out though. It looks like it's going to be a little bit tricky to make work. And the bandits are actually getting rid of the glaives. The raven not being constructed, the constructor conjurer having gone down. The raven getting destroyed just to make sure it can't come up. And at this point, Anarchid being forced to be a little bit honest. Magman pushing back a bit. This scythe, however, is still in Magman's base. A tool that Anarchid has a trick up their sleeve, which will be coming in to probably great effect. And the north side of the base for Anarchid haven't been taken out. Bandits coming in further to try to deal with more metal extractors. And a warrior will be up in about 12 seconds to deal with this. While well, Scythe coming in here over to the northeast side, getting rid of that Lotus. And Raven will finish that off. Actually, Defender will finish it off so the Raven doesn't have to waste its ammo. But it still does regardless. So at this point, the Warrior is up, the Bandits are moving in, and Magman does not really have any easy way in anymore. They have dealt the damage they can deal, but at this point what they've basically done is give themselves enough breathing room to expand as they are to the north, and possibly over to the northwest. Maybe get to the center as well, but the, the important thing is that breathing room. However, the hacksaw is going to be a bit of a pain. Not that much of a pain, though, due to the fact that it can't fire that frequently. Yeah, it's not the strongest anti-air defense. It has limited ammo. Like, hacksaws, from what I understand, are basically not meant to be used very much. They can be used, of course, but they're kind of owled. However, Magman still does have the four ravens. They only lost one raven in the process. Getting rid of more stag defense. Actually, this entire side here, this north ridge, that is completely undefended. And the bandit's going to move in, take full advantage of that. And Anarchid going for a counter air switch as well. But I think this might be a bit problematic. Anarchid going to go for swifts naturally. And we will see those built up in just a moment. Let's change the icon settings. Anyway, and Magman is going to be tearing apart that ridge. Pulling Anarchid back down to Magman's level on economy, and Magman, like I said, at the same time, does have the expansions being built up. To the northwest, we have that, and this entire expansion going down. Now the commander being fought, and that commander against the bandits, as the ravens try to finish it up. Well, yeah, this is it. This, the commander is dead. Gremlins are going to be able to defend against it. The commander did a fine job trying to defend against this, but not fine enough. And while the Swiss are trying to come up, they will not be up in time. In fact, no Swiss will be able to get up. That is the only swift... That's the only Swift that belongs to Anarchid. And even that won't be built. Nope, there is nothing there. Magman really turning this around. That was a really nice harassment. Just getting rid of that Scythe and then pushing him there to the center. I mean, Anarchid kind of over-invested in anti-air. At this point, that gave Magman the game, I think. Scythe is being used once again, trying to push forward. But Magman still in a very nice position. Anarchid, however, going for a slightly more secure air base inside their main base. Going for the air factory right there. And the Kaligabad factory continuing to build up, but Anarchid now only at 13 metal, while Magman has 24. Magman is doing very well for themselves at this point. And I don't really see a whole lot that's going to... Yeah, there we go. Magman just wins. Anarchid throws in the towel. That is game. Very surprising turnaround. I really expected Anarchid to take that, but Magman just defended the right points and pushed back the right points. And then air switch actually worked out. I guess the fast expansion, it does work, but it's just... That's more against air start. When air mid, apparently that doesn't quite work as effectively. Especially when there, like, when there is a ground factory already. Because that's the thing. The fast expansion, the whole power of that is because an air start means that you only have air. You only have like one or two ravens. 
when your opponent has a few constructors and other ground raiders and so forth. But when there's already been a ground factory going to air, that doesn't quite work as well. I didn't identify that originally. Sorry about that. But that is something to point out now that that is a thing. So anyway, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to have another game for you guys in just a moment. It will be between... Ugh, come on. It'll be a game between Jasper and Rymark. That'll be up on Melt in about a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> 